how on earth do rocks from space relate to forensic investigations? Each year, some 40,000 tonnes of rocks from asteroids, comets and debris from other planets bombard the Earth. Most are tiny, less than a millimetre, yet large enough to provide clues about how the solar system formed 4.5 billion years ago, its composition and how it's changed throughout its history. Meteorite hunters target deserts and icy plains in Antarctica to find rocks from space. When a meteorite falls to Earth, the heating due to friction with the atmosphere develops a dark fusion crust that makes it easy to spot against light sand or snow. Cores drilled from glaciers can yield hordes of rare micrometeorites that have rained down over millennia. There are also rocks that have been collected in space and brought back to Earth. The Apollo astronauts brought back 381 kilograms of rocks from the Moon and the Soviet lunar probes added to this haul. More recently, all sorts of material from space has been returned to Earth. Micrometeorites, dust from a comet's tail and samples from an asteroid. Even particles from the Sun captured from the solar wind were delivered to Earth in a dramatic crash landing. More sample collections from asteroids are underway and missions to bring rocks from Mars are planned for the next decade. But how do we analyse these precious samples, some of which are unique and no more than a microscopic grain? To reveal their secrets, planetary investigators can access state-of-the-art laboratories across Europe to obtain the maximum possible science from the smallest possible samples. A planetary detective has a suite of tools available to analyse a sample. Spectroscopy, looking at which parts of the electromagnet spectrum it absorbs or reflects, can tell us about its chemistry. X-rays and CT scans can reveal its structure. Lasers can vaporise tiny amounts of material so that sensors can sniff out a chemical profile. The ratio of isotopes, different versions of the same chemical element, give clues about where samples originated be they dust from a comet, from the Kuiper belt, or diamonds formed deep in the Earth's mantle. The same techniques and laboratories used to study space rocks and samples can also help us solve crimes. Analysis of concentrations of isotopes in people's bones, hair, or teeth reveal the geology of the region where they've lived, if they moved between different places, and, if they're dead, how long ago they've perished. Planetary detectives have already helped police to identify dead bodies. So, next time you're looking for a new detective thriller, why not try a planetary mystery? It's sure to be out of this world.